Well, hey folks, how's it going? Uh, tonight we're going to sort of document uh, some behavioral changes in these guys behind me, uh, some pigs, uh, and how it relates to uh, mineral depletion and then uh, with their feed and then later supplementing with microlite, which is a, uh, a magnesium supplement, magnesium mica, and then also a little bit of potassium, and what changes we notice behaviorally in the pigs. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to feed them and we're just going to kind of watch uh, how, watch their aggressiveness towards each other, uh, simple uh, signs of biting and, and then once we supplement the magnesium, uh, what changes in the behavior. So take a look, we'll see what happens and then tomorrow morning we'll change the feed over with the high magnesium in it and see if we notice any changes. So here we go. Hey, so this, uh, this hog here just tried to come off and bite me. Well, as you can see, these, these pigs are pretty aggressive during feeding time. I've had them without mineral in their feed for two and a half weeks. And so they've, they're on pasture. So they're just up with uh, getting whatever they can get off the land, as you can see. Uh, they're on about a half acre paddock and they're going to get moved here in about three or four more days and tomorrow morning we're going to come in and supplement with the magnesium uh, microlite and notice what changes we notice so while they're eating here I'm just going to kind of watch let you watch them interact as they eat so hey look at this one trying to bite me Really trying to go after me. I never had one try to go after me before. That's kind of creepy. So right now they're they're sort of biting faces. I haven't seen any tail biting yet tonight, but it does happen on numerous occurrences. Uh, during both morning and evening feedings. Hey! Yeah, that sow just came up and tried to bite me again. So the longer they have gone without uh, mineral supplementation in their feed, uh, the more I'm noticing more uh, carnivorous, more cannibalistic-like uh, behavior. Um, they attack each other a lot more. They're a lot more irritable uh, than they were when I first moved them to this paddock. Um, there's a couple behind me fighting with each other right now. They weren't really doing it like this. And I also noticed like, the way uh, they have been working the ground over. Uh, last paddock, they were way less aggressive. Um, here they've turned a lot of dirt over since the the mineral in the feed is gone. So, and it's obviously time to move them. So, tomorrow morning we'll come in with the magnesium and see what kind of changes we see and then we'll make some observations and see. Hey folks, how's it going? It is uh, the next morning and still have pigs being pretty aggressive with me. Uh, want to bite me and such. Hey, back. Back. Being pretty aggressive. Uh, man. And, uh, they've just gotten the feed supplemented with microlite. That was a white gilt right there. And now we're going to see if, uh, they continue to be aggressive. Uh, Time will tell at tonight's feeding uh, if they continue to to bite. I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. I was trying to run from them. Anyway, 
that's uh, back. They're still pretty aggressive at the feeder. A lot of squealing going on. Hey folks, how's it going? It is now been two days since we have introduced the magnesium mica to the pigs and already there's such a huge difference in their behavior. Uh, just walking up, noticing the pigs are so much uh, more calm. Um, they don't have an aggressive demeanor at all. So we're gonna go ahead and walk in the paddock and see what the two gilts that used to bite at me uh, how, they, how they now act um, and see what their behavior is now with uh, two days worth of magnesium. So, here we go. Overall, calmness at the feeder is like night and day difference. And that's really all it took was just a little magnesium. Well, hey folks, how's it going? We're now five days out from introducing the magnesium. And uh, here's our old friend here. It used to come up and bite and nothing now. She just turns right around. It was like this. Uh, at this morning's feeding, but these pigs are completely different. The way they approach me in the pen, uh, the way they walk up to me in the gate. I also wanted to show you kind of the difference the way uh, they're working the land over. Uh, so here it's just real periodic uh, disturbance. And I'm gonna take you back to the paddock where we were just uh, three days ago and you'll notice I mean they're just dabbling I mean these are small little disturbances um, relatively small this is what I want to see right here when I move them to fresh ground I want move to a new spot make a little disturbance you can see that they still have altercations at the at the feeder, just because of space, they're so much bigger than what that feeder was intended for. But you notice they just don't uh, continue to pursue each other. They don't let that irritable stage just continue to fight. Sure, they're having their disagreements, but you just see it's like, okay, yeah. A week ago, that was like drawn out into a 20 second altercation. So, a huge difference in behavior. Now here is what looked like off the last paddock. And you can see here, we really got a lot of dirt disturbed. They were searching out to try and find those minerals and just weren't having any luck. You can see down here, like, <clears throat> they, <laughs> I'm gonna have to come in and cover all this with wood chips um, just to get this covered. I don't want any bear, see this is a no-no. This is. This is bare soil, and I don't want that. So, uh, 
in closing in closing the the micro light has has made a huge difference in behavior um i haven't done any experiments I, i've had uh two gilts that have have cycled three times and they're exposed to a bore and neither time has either of them took and since i have exp i just exposed the micro light at the end of the last cycle so that was 12 yeah on day 12. so now i'm going to see if since i've introduced the magnesium if uh because they were both bred about three days apart on their last cycle i'm going to see if this one sticks and see if that made any sort of difference and and check back with y'all anyway just kind of a fun experiment to try and uh i wonder what it does in humans <laughs> I'm sure my wife's going to be slipping magnesium in my drink at night. So, no, I'm kidding. I'm not aggressive and I don't bite people. Anyway, you guys take care. Have fun. We'll catch you later. Bye.